Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going over the 2021 recall election night prediction and I'm going to go over the race and kind of what the key information for the race is and what I think my prediction is for this race come election night. So with that said, first things first, we're going to go over the California Gal Party affiliation poll, which has Democrats at 45%. Republican to 24%, and unenrolled slash third party with 31%. As I mentioned, this was conducted by Gallup and uses information from the most recent census. So this is the most up-to-date numbers we have. The California political representation uh, by political party. The current governor, obviously, is Democrat Gavin Newsom. Both Senators Feinstein and Senator Padilla are both Democrats. House seats, California has 53 representatives with 42 Democrats and 11 Republicans. And for president in 2020, Joe Biden won the state with 63.5% to 34.3% for Donald Trump. Next, we have the notable challengers for the recall election. We have political commentator Larry Elder, former San Diego Mayor Kevin Falconer, 2018 nominee for Governor John Cox, and Democrat, I believe, YouTube personality Kevin Pathrath. And of course, we have the Democratic governor who is facing recall election. Democrat Gavin Newsom, he is the 40th governor of California, the 49th lieutenant governor of California, and the 42nd mayor of San Francisco at the time of these uh, listed on the screen. So we do have some a polling average from the Real Clear Politics that shows what is the recall uh, approval for remaining with Newsom or removing Newsom. 41.8% of the average say they want to remove Newsom. 55.4% want to remain. If these numbers hold, Newsom does get more than the 50% 50% majority he needs. Therefore, he will stay in office. However, if it does happen, Gavin Newsom does get removed. Who is the next likely governor? Well, according to the average, Larry Elder leads with 29.6%. Pathrath is in second with 7.8, and Falconer is in third with 4.8%. Remember, if Gavin Newsom gets recalled, what that means is Gavin Newsom is done, and the leading candidate for the um, other candidates who are not Newsom becomes the next governor. So if Newsom gets recalled and Elder has the most amount of votes, Elder becomes the next governor. We don't have a ton of information, but we do have a little information on how much money has been raised in California. Uh, Gavin Newsom in the Remain with Newsom column has gained $58 million in fundraising, where Larry Elder has raised $13.1 million. So obviously a big financial advantage for Newsom over many of the challengers, including the top challenger, Larry Elder. And with that information out of the way, now we have election night 2021 and the California recall election. It is 11 p.m. on the East Coast, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 8 o'clock on the West Coast, and polls have now closed out of the state of California. And we are going to fast forward until 11.55 p.m. with 99% of the vote in. And Gavin Newsom has 57.4% of the vote to the recall Newsom 42.6% of the vote. I put some indicators on the side here just to help out my thought process with this. I'm expecting the turnout to be in the range of 12.5 million or so, which is less than the 2020 election, but also slightly more than the 2018 governor's election. And I do think turnout will be a little bit lower just because of uh, it being, even though it is becoming highly nationalized, the fact that it is a recall election, it's not going to get the biggest amount of turnout compared to a presidential election. In terms of when I think the news media will start projecting this race as a Newsom win, I think somewhere between the 1120 to 1135 range. I think it's going to be rather quick, actually. Uh, it is California, so that has to factor in as well. They do count their votes usually pretty quick. And not to mention, there's such a democratic state, I would expect the projections to come in pretty quickly. And once roundings and margins are uh, put into the mix, we have Newsom getting 57% of the vote to uh, Larry Elder in the recall at 43% of the vote. For the California recall election between Gavin, uh, Governor Gavin Newsom and likely opponent Larry Elder, if the recall were to happen, it is my official prediction that I have Gavin Newsom winning the 2021 California recall election surviving surviving to finish out his term and then he'll face uh, or he'll face election in 2022 I believe and I'm assuming he'll run for election especially if he wins this but 
As for the recall election with 99% of the vote in, I am expecting Gavin Newsom to win. And I expect him to fill the remainder of his term. And I expect him to run for re-election as well, but that's farther away. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this video. Who you think will win the recall election. Do you think Gavin Newsom will win? Or do you think the recall election will pick up some last minute momentum and find a way to overset the polls and overset the early voting data? And you never know. It is politics, so you have to go out and vote. You never know what's going to happen. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Oh, and again, I want to give a special shout out to everyone who's already subscribed to me. Thank you so much for uh, continuing to come back to my videos. It means the world to me. And again, if you're a new viewer, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And uh, I'll keep making great videos for you guys. That's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.